ranking British foods. Let's get into it. As always, we've got our foods across the bottom there. Now, I'm doing this to raise an awareness for British dishes. I'm not quite happy about the reputation and press that we get for it. It's like our teeth. I mean, do I look like I've got bad teeth? <laughs> Don't answer that. First up we have, it's a classic, it's the roast dinner. The roast dinner is god tier because it has a lot of variants as well. Do you want pork? Do you want beef? Either way, you're getting it slobbered in gravy. It's an absolute treat. We have it once a week where I'm from. Obviously, every Christmas is just a bigger version of it. We wait all year round to have these roasts and they're elite. It's got to be... A. Reason why I say A is because it can be done so wrong. Oh, so wrong. I don't want plain boiled veg that's been sat in the water all day. Soggy broccoli. That's what that causes. I like them like maybe seared, you know, a little bit of seasoning, maybe panned off. But anyway, each to their own, each to their own. Next up, we have Toad in the Hole. <laughs> the picture is absolutely disgusting. I'll, I'll agree to that. It looks sad. It looks like a sausage pie. Essentially, kind of what it is. For Americans, you put a load of sausage in pancake batter and bake it. This ain't gonna get high. I mean, see, to me, it's it's a gimmick. Have sausages and Yorkshires. You know, that's all it is. It's a gimmick, really. The sausage roll, a staple of Britain. Obviously, everyone associates it with Greg's, where I'm from, and that's exactly where you should. It's a winner. It's a snack. It's a fantastic treat, but you don't want them cold. They are a bit in miss in that regard for me. They'll go B. Sorry, Gregs, don't sue me. I'm still after that brand deal. The Scotch Egg from our friends. Oh, hi, dinner. Yeah? The Scotch Egg. Now, here's the thing. Now, looking at this picture, it's got a lovely, creamy centre of a yolk. That's like restaurant quality Scotch Egg. So they are A class. They would go S. However, the ones I'm used to, you get as a side on your meal deal at Sainsbury's, the egg's probably been cooked about 1.5 years ago. So I'm sure you can imagine what that does to the pork outer edge. But if we're basing it on that picture, Tasty. it's an S. The pork pie. Okay, um, not good, I'm afraid, everyone. It's nothing against meat pies. Don't think it is, because I'll scran, I'll scran a steak pie. I'll scran a bolt at Elland Road. I'll, I will do it, <laughs> Ellen Road, like I go. But the pork pie, very rare do you get a pork pie that you think, oh, wow, that was lovely. It's like digesting lead. The meat is very mysterious to me. It's like a spam pie, really. Questionable. Again, the indigestion factor's got to play a role here, and it's going C. Now, we're on to some serious shit. The full English breakfast. Oh, and the picture is immaculate. If you go breakfast served like that to you, I'd be lapping it all up. No worries. The black pudding. People say it don't belong there. I say fuck right off. Uh, tomatoes, yep. Uh, mushroom, yep. Bacon, yep. Sausage, bean, egg. Oh my God. I went to America and they do breakfast well. Don't get me wrong. You've got the sweet and savoury factor there. But you can't beat a banging fry up. It's an S. Tasty. Those of you who have an, a little English calf, maybe you live abroad, go check out a full English. I'm sure you have. Uh, oh. I had one this morning, that's what that was. It's a staple of Britain. Fish and chips. Just spat on my lens. Oh my God. Fish and chips. Yep, 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 yep. Love, 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 love fish and chips. My side of choice is curry sauce. I know that's sacrilege to certain people who like a mushy pea perhaps i'm not opposed or a gravy i'm not opposed but for me you get a chip butty with scraps and lather it up with curry sauce you don't get much better than that son especially if the fish is a little bit creamy s tasty sorry i'm sorry all who think it looks a bit dull go to your nearest fryer now and try them out and last but certainly not least i think a food that everyone associates with british the crumpet Oh, crumpet. I've never met a crumpet that can be over-buttered. Do you know what I mean? It may it may sweat, but it seems to hold it quite well. You've got a fair window there before the sweat seeps in. The crumpet, if it's crispy and, and gooey in the inside, to me, I don't think there's much better in life. It's got to be low-pack, though. 
And I think it's one of the few things that the cheapest option and your most expensive option are going to be the same. That's important to remember in these cost of living days. For convenience, for low pack held factor, and for all round happiness, that's Tasty. another S there. So there you have it. I hope the British man in his bedroom has educated you a little bit. And you can go out and try these foods and know which ones to avoid when you're next over. Subscribe if you want. If you don't, I respect you a little bit more. I'd say, comment what you want me to do next. Thanks again.